Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with Alitech, and today I'm giving you a demonstration on the near field communication or NFC capabilities of Alitech's TWN4 RFID reader. Our TWN4 is a dual frequency all in one reader in that it can read all technologies all the time, whereas most RFID readers are single frequency and decide to read only one or two technology types at a time. NFC is an emerging global standard that allows your smartphone to communicate with an RFID reader. Today I'm using a Samsung Note 3 as my smartphone. NFC technology is used in many common applications where there's a quick collection or exchange of digital information. Uh, some examples could include making a payment with your smartphone or in transportation boarding a train and using your phone as the actual ticket. Today I'm using something called the TWN4 NFC demo program which is de was developed by our engineers here at LTech, and it's a program to show you the multiple different ways in which a smartphone can communicate with our TWN4 whether it be sending or receiving information. And that's the other important thing to note about NFC is, is, is that it's bi-directional and that you can send information from the reader to the smartphone and vice versa. Okay, so I already have my TWN4 plugged in and my green light is on. I also use something called the TWN4 development pack and specifically within the pack, the App Blaster is used to reprogram my reader. And if you'd like an in-depth look at the capabilities of the App Blaster, you want to look at the Tech Tracer video that's also on LTEC's YouTube channel. But for this, I'm just going to show you the correct firmware to use. So I go to Program Apps and Firmware Images, Select Image, and I'm using CDC Simple Protocol. I already have mine set up, but I just want to let you know that Keyboard Standard Mode or Keyboard Emulation Mode will not work because of the two-way communication. Okay, so back to the NFC demo. The first thing I'm going to do is send a URI message to the phone, and URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. And it basically refers to any sort of web resource, so in this case it will be a web address. Here I can change the URI, URI type, but I'm just going to leave it as the first one. And when I scan my phone, it'll take us to the Alitech RFID homepage, like that. And I can change this to whatever I want. Let's just do google.com, click change message, scan it again. And now it'll take us to Google. Next, I'm going to send an NDEF message from the reader to the phone. And if you look at this window here, uh, NDEF stands for NFC Data Exchange Format. And within an NDEF message, you can uh, send multiple records. And you'll know what I mean in just a second. But here you can see the type name format, which here is NFC Forum Well-Known Type. And the NFC Forum is a nonprofit organization that promotes the, uh, the development of the technology for NFC. And they're the ones that put forth the standards and came up with the NDEF message. So within an NDEF message, there's an ID, which I can omit. The type is going to be U, which is referring to another URI message. And the payload is what's going to be delivered. And here it's going to be the LTEC, the LTEC RFID homepage. And I also, I can change this to whatever I want. Let's I'll just do Google again. And I click Add Record here. And we can do one more. We'll just do Yahoo.com. Add Record. So now within this, this uh, NDEF message, I have the first record, which is Alitech RFID homepage. I have the google.com and I have yahoo.com. And on my phone, I'm gonna use something called Tag Info, which is a free app by NXP. And you can get it from the Google App Store. So it basically breaks down an NDEF message that is received. So here I'll scan my phone. It says NFC data detected. And I, if I look under the NDEF tab, here I'll zoom in for you, and you can see the first, the first part of the message is the LTEC RFID homepage, the second record is google.com, and then finally the last record is yahoo.com. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the TWN4 can be used to read an NDEF message sent from a phone, and I'm going to use the NFC peer-to-peer -peer demo app by LTEC, which is available in the latest development pack. And you can see I have three options here. I can send the IMEI number, which is the International Mobile Equipment Identity Number. I can send the device ID, and I can also send the Wi-Fi MAC address. I'm going to choose to send the device ID, so I check that box, hold it over my reader, and touch the beam, and there it goes. And you can see it shows up right here under my payload. And I can check this box, which will switch it to hexadecimal. And I forgot to mention you can do the same thing when you're sending an NF message. I can also send contact information. So I've created a fictional person in my contacts book. Here it is here. And I put in a false uh, email address and phone number, but it, it works the same way. I hold it over my phone, or I hold it over the reader, touch the beam, and there it goes. And again, under the payload, it comes up with the name, the telephone number, and the uh, email address. 
And the last tab of the NSC demo is called Search Tags. And this is a good way to see all the different types of technology that can be read with the TWN4. And also, if you have a card that you're not sure what type of technology it is because it's not labeled, this is a good way to find it out because you just scan it and it'll show you the UID and the technology type. So I have a small stack of different cards here and I'm just going to scan them for you. That's an HID Prox. It's an I-Class. This is a dual frequency card, HID Prox and I-Class in one, and it'll scan both at the same time. Let me try that one more time. Like that. This is a MyFair card. And like I said, I only have a small stack here, but the list is much larger than this, and it's constantly growing. If this were a real application, we would recommend reducing the number of technologies that can be read on your TWN4 because it affects the performance, whether it be detect detection speed or identification distance. And you can do so either yourself with the App Blaster, which is in the development pack. And if you want more information on how to do that, you want to look at the Tech Tracer video that, again, is on this channel. And we can also make a custom firmware for you to suit your needs. And if you want inf more information on that, you'll want to contact our technical support team, and there'll be an email at the end of this video. Okay, now I'm going to show you how this NFC technology could be used in a real example. This could be seen in a university or a workplace setting where you have a work group printer, and you have multiple people printing to the same printer, and you would like each user to authenticate themselves with a badge, in this case it would be the smartphone, before each print job is approved and actually sent to the printer. So again, I'm using the TWN4 with my Samsung Note 3, but I'm also using the TCP Converter 2 from Elatec, which is a router which is going to allow the print job to get hung up when I send it, and it'll sit there and wait for me to badge my phone before it is authenticated and approved. So I'm going to open up my Devices and Printers window, find my printer, which is this one right here, and I'm going to send a test page to the printer. And I also need to open up my queue so I can see that the test page that I just sent is in fact in the pause status. And I'm just going to take my phone and scan it. And you'll see it's going to switch from pause to printing. And to do this, you need a type of print management software. And there's a number of them out there to choose from. But basically, it links the ID on the phone to my username so that when I scan my phone, it knows that it's me and the print job is approved. And here's my page. Okay, that's about it for this video. Here you can see Alatex contact information. If you have any sales or customer support needs, please be sure to send an email to either the first or second address you see there, depending on where you are in the world. And the third email down is our technical support team. If you have any technical issues, please sure, be sure to send them an email, and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. Below this video, if you look in the description, there's a data sheet and a technical manual for the TWN4, as well as the TCP Converter 2. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with Alatech. Thanks for watching.